It's all bullshit, folks. It's all bullshit, and it's bad for you. Now, you wouldn't know it from some of the things I've said over the years, but I like people. I do. I like people, but I like them in short bursts. I don't like people for extended periods of time. I'm all right with them for a little while, but once you get up past around minute, minute and a half, I gotta get the fuck out of there. And my reason for this, my reason is for one that you may share possibly, I have a very low tolerance level for stupid bullshit. That's all, stupid bullshit. You know? Tell the truth, don't be bullshitting people. Like I say, there's enough bullshit as it is. There's enough bullshit as it is. In fact, there's just enough. Did you know that? There's just enough bullshit to hold things together in this country. Bullshit is the glue that binds us as a nation. Where would we be without our safe, familiar American bullshit? Land of the free, home of the brave, the American dream, all men are equal, justice is blind, the press is free, your vote counts. <laughs> Business is honest, the good guys win, the police are on your side, God is watching you, your standard of living will never decline, and everything is gonna be just fine. The official national bullshit story. I call it the American okie doke. Everyone. Every one of those items is provably untrue at one level or another, but we believe them because they're pounded into our heads from the time we're children. That's what they do with that kind of thing. Pounded into the heads of kids because they know that children are much too young to be able to muster an intellectual defense against a sophisticated idea like that. And they know that up to a certain age, children believe everything their parents tell them. And as a result, they never learn to question things. Nobody questions things in this country anymore. Nobody questions anything. Everybody's too fat and happy. Everybody's got a cell phone that'll make pancakes and rub their balls now, you know? <laughs> Way too fucking prosperous for our own good. Way too fucking prosperous. Americans have been bought off and silenced by toys and gizmos, and no one learns to question things. You remember? You remember? Okay. Okay. Now, here's another one of these civic customs. Swearing on the Bible. You understand that shit? They tell you to raise your right hand, place your left hand on the Bible. Does this stuff really matter? Which hand? Does God really give a fuck about details like this? <laughs> Suppose you put your right hand in the Bible, you raise your left hand. Would that count? Or would God say, sorry, wrong hand, try again. <laughs> Swearing to God doesn't mean anything. Swearing on the Bible doesn't mean anything. You know why? Because Bible or no Bible, God or no God, if it suits their purposes, people are gonna lie in court. The police do it all the time. All the time. Yes, they do. It's part of their job to protect, to serve, and to commit perjury whenever it supports the state's case. <laughs> Swearing on the Bible is just one more way of controlling people and keeping them in line, and it's one more thing that holds us back as a species. Here's one more item for you, the last in our civics book, rights. Boy, everyone in this country is always running around yammering about their fucking rights. I have a right, you have no right, we have a right, they don't have a right. Folks, I hate to spoil your fun, but there's no such thing as rights, okay? They're imaginary. We made them up, like the boogeyman. <laughs> the Three Little Pigs, Pinocchio, Mother Goose, shit like that. <laughs> rights are an idea, they're just imaginary. They're a cute idea, cute, but that's all cute and fictional. But if you think you do have rights, let me ask you this, where do they come from? People say, well, they come from God, they're God-given rights. Oh, fuck, here we go again, <laughs> here we go again. The God excuse, the last refuge of a man with no answers and no argument, it came from God. Anything we can't describe must have come from God. But let's say it's true, let's say God gave us these rights. Why would he give us a certain number of rights? The Bill of Rights in this country has 10 stipulations, okay? 10 rights. And apparently God was doing sloppy work that week because we've had to amend the Bill of Rights an additional 17 times. So God forgot a couple of things like, Slavery <laughs> just fucking slipped his mind. And some people in the world have no rights at all. 
What kind of a fucking goddamn God-given deal is that? No rights at all? Why would God give different people in different countries different numbers of different rights? Boredom? Amusement? Bad arithmetic? Do we find out at long last, after all this time, that God is weak in math skills? Doesn't sound like divine planning to me. Sounds more like human planning. Sounds more like one group trying to control another group. Personally, when it comes to rights, I think one of two things is true. I think either we have unlimited rights or we have no rights at all. Personally, I lean toward unlimited rights. I feel, for instance, I have the right to do anything I please. But if I do something you don't like, I think you have the right to kill me. So where are you gonna find a fairer fucking deal than that? So the next time some asshole says to you, I have a right to my opinion, you say, oh yeah, well I have a right to my opinion, and my opinion is you have no right to your opinion. <laughs> then shoot the fuck and walk away. Thank you.